Hi, it's Jazzy here from JewelsByJazzy.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own ear wires. If you make a lot of jewelry like me, you'll find that it's more cost effective to actually make your own than buy them. I'm going to work with some 20 gauge copper wire today. I usually work with sterling silver or copper wire and I like 20 gauge. It's a nice thick gauge so the earring wires um, don't become distorted. Now what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do you can start out with about a two inch piece of wire. I'm using a, probably about a three and a half inch, four inch piece of wire just so you can see it in the camera. The first thing you want to do is take your flush cutters with this end, the flush side, and you're going to just cut straight. And always remember to put your finger over it so that that little piece that comes off doesn't go flying in your eye because you want a straight cut. Now I use two different sizes of round nose pliers and I have them marked. I just take a Sharpie marker and I mark different increments because I constantly wrap, wire wrap, and I like to know where I am with the pliers so I can always go to the same spot. So basically I want the smallest point of these round nose pliers and I'm going to grab the wire at the very very end that I just cut and I want to make sure I don't feel it. I want to make sure it's really flush with the pliers and then I'm going to roll this around until it hits. Okay, So I rolled it back until it touches. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch pliers. I'm going to grab these round nose pliers, which are a little bit bigger. Can you see the difference in the thickness, the diameter? And I'm going to come back to my earring, and I'm going to grab it at the widest point. And I'm going to hold it inside now. So see there's my loop there that I just made. And I'm going to take the wire, and I'm going to bend it around until it touches. Okay, and when it touches, I'm going to slide my plier out. So you can see I've got the basic shape. Now depending on how long I want that earring wire, I'm going to cut it again. Again, use the flush side of the plug pliers. I'm going to cut it right about here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put the little turn in the wire, the little bend. Now there's my earring wire. Now there's one more thing that we need to do. You can see I made that one a little bit longer. It's absolutely your preference. If you're going to make them in a pair and you want them to match, all you have to do is after you make your first one, lay it right on top of the one you just made and then cut them to the exact same length. Okay? and do the same thing, use your flush cutters. Now the next step is we get to have some fun with the hammer. This is called a ball peen hammer. That's the ball peen and here's the flat side and a bench block. This is what a bench block looks like when you buy it in the box. And they're really heavy and what we want to do is we want to harden the wire. I don't know if you can see here but it's a little flatter right there and you'll see that often on ear wires. And what that does is it hardens the wire so that it doesn't become distorted when people take them in and out of your, their ears so you don't want them to like bend open and close. So I'm just going to hold it with my finger. Watch your finger because I guarantee you'll hammer your finger once or twice. And you're just going to hammer it a few times until it flattens that. You see how it's a little bit shiny? You can see the flattened end? So now I flattened my wire. So my ear wire is almost ready, except when I cut it, it's a little rough right there. So what you have to do is you have to file it. Now you can use a metal file. If you don't have a metal file, go ahead and use a nail file. After you do your nails, you can file your earrings. Now when you file, you have to remember, you always want to file in one direction. Okay, so whatever is easier for you. I'm trying to do this in the camera so I don't get in the way. But I'm just pulling the file in one direction. And an emery board works great. Turn your earring wire over get all the edges. It might take a minute or so and then just make sure it's not rough. Make sure it's smooth to the touch because you certainly don't want to scratch your ear when you're putting your earring wire in. And you just file it down and that is how you make your own ear wire. Thanks for watching.